What's going on there, YouTube? Twisted <gasps> 420 has returned. That's right, people. We are back. We're back once again. It is TGIF. Thank God it's Friday, people. We're here. We're out here, and we're back with a sequel to something that was quite a nice little mod. And it's back with some very nice improvements, people. Today, we are taking a gander at the Vandy Vape Pulse V2 mod, Squonker, a Tony B project, of course, people. That's right. We're back with the Pulse V2. What you gonna do? That's right. There's a new version of the Pulse, and it's better. Okay, I'm going to tell you better, but you need to understand why it's better. But before I can tell you why it's better, I need to tell you what it is. What this is, this is a single 21700, 2700, or 18650, 95 watt leak proof squonk mod. Has USB-C charging, it's available in a multitude of finishes, and it sells on the interwebs for about 57 to 56 bucks. Oddly enough, consistently, I saw it about 56, 57, not 60, not 50. But 56 to 57, people are following map, MSRP, and I can dig it. But anyway, uh, that's what we got going on here. That's what's happening. And there's some there's some new tricks up its sleeve, all right? It got a few new little features, a couple little things. And to further understand all those things, people, what we got to do is dive up close, all right? And there's no better time to do that other than right now. All right, people, and here we are with the unboxing of the Pulse 2, a Tony B project. All right, waterproof, PCBA, freaking batteries. There's stuff going on here. Let's go ahead and bust into it and see what's going on. Snap into a Slim Jim here. All right, so first of all, we have our device with a little squonker thingy in it, all right? So that's cool, right? But check this guy out. What you got in here? Right, can I even get this out? All right, let me just do this. There, there we go. There we go. All right, cool. What we got here is an 18650 adapter. I like the little Vandy Vape cutout in it. Goes all the way through. Pretty neat. It's clear. This is a little pry tool. You know, sometimes you gotta pry some shit out. That's part of life. Uh, especially your bottle. You know, fucking grab that bitch. Come here, bitch. Get out of there. What are you doing? And you got an extra clear bottle. You know what I mean? You can even grab this side. Look, look at that. See? See what I'm talking about? It's a grab tool. Alright, so there's that. All this shit. Fucking, hold on. Let me just, yeah, there we go. That was a really good way to pack it, too. Save space. Alright, so pull the device out. Get in here. Motherfucker. That was tough. All right, so you get in here, you got some pamphlets and shit, stickers, and then you got a USB-C charging cable. A small little fucker, too, but it'll get the job done. USB-C, I said. That is correct. That is correct. All right, so yeah, really, that's like, that's like fucking, that's the unboxing experience. I can put all this stuff back in here now, and we can move along. All right, so we got these things, right? And let's check it out, right? So the first pulse, you can pull that side off, pop your battery out. Look at that. A Tony B project. Manufactured by Vandy Vape. I respect it. What does this come out? Fucking 8th of 2020? So, August they made this. I can dig it. So, pop that back on like so. You got your other side. Alright. And so, you got big ass slot in here. You see your positive. Let me turn my brightness. What am I doing in my life? You got your positive and negatives marked in there, right? And yeah. 21700, 27700, and 18650 with the included adapter. That's how it works. Pretty cool, man. It's a good battery. Like 95 watts. You guys know the vibrations. All right. You got your 510 up top. That's where you do your squonking. Check out the face here. Nice clicky up and down buttons. Big buttons. Easy to find. We'll get to the screen later. USB-C. That's what the fuck I'm talking about, people. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Now, before we get to the screen and everything, I mean, this is a pretty traditional squonker. You know what's going on. Something I really, really, really like is the new system. So, traditionally, with squonkers, you pull your thing out, fill it up with juice, put it back in, right? Well, this one is perfectly lined up with the 510, so you don't have to worry about any uh, any plumbing issues, as they stated. Um, it shouldn't, shouldn't have any leaks. This is a leak-proof design, they say, people. And so far, I haven't experienced any leaking. So look, check that out. You unscrew the bottom, and bro, you just fill this thing up with juice. When you're done, put this back on, right? And you're good to go. Eh, how about that? That's pretty That's pretty damn neat. That's smart. It's convenient. And that is a nice little innovation when it comes to squawks. I have yet to see that. I know I've seen some others that fill in from the top. What was that? The uh, the drop mod or something. But um, yeah, we got some stuff in here. And then if you want to get this thing out, this is where the pry tool comes in handy. Let me grab that real quick. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and... There we go. 
I guess you, the proper way to do it would be to go down here and get a, get a hold of it. Well, really, this works better. I don't know. Fuck, I don't really know the, the true way to do it. But here it is. There's your bottle. Open bottom. Top goes right up in there like so. And you just... Phew, perfection. Pretty neat. Pretty neat little system, I gotta say. Pretty neat little system indeed. Um, okay, cool. So you, you seem like the most important stuff. Look, I feel air. Okay, so you see most important stuff. Now, only thing left to show you fine people is this screen. And to do that, I need to lower the lights just a little bit. All right, people, and here we are with this nice, big, colorful screen. And you got single battery monitoring, all your info and stuff. So let's give it uh, five clicks just to show you. Off in big red. I like it. Vandy vape in big red. I dig it. So yeah, it goes up to 95 watts. If you want to get into the menu, hold down positive and negative. And I, I like this system. So you go through, adjust the brightness, the UI. Maybe you want to change the color or something. Fucking, you can do it. It's your prerogative. But check your battery, reset puffs, adjust your brightness. Let's go ahead and max this bitch out. Oh, there's a slow climb. There you go. Now, what we're going to do here is check this out. I like this system. So you got all your different modes and you can turn off and set what you want to appear. So let's go ahead and turn on temperature control, voltage, bypass mode, everything, right? Then we're going to escape. Oh yeah, I forgot about the app. I've showed it on the S-Well before, but it hooks up to an app on your phone, Bluetooth. You can like find your mod and shit and do over there updates. Pretty cool. Well, anyway, now that I've done this, yeah, there we go. We exit. Now, one, two, three, if I give it three clicks, it gives me all the options that I selected. Cool thing is if you don't use bypass or temp control or variable voltage, you can turn all that off and only have variable wattage. But all the stuff's here. And I think that's a really good system. That's a really good system. You just hold the stuff, get into the things, go in there. Uh, I don't want TC on. Uh, I don't want voltage on. I don't want fucking anything on. And then fucking turn it all off. There you go. Good to go. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. You got the app hookup, all that good stuff. And yeah, that is the screen. That is how it all goes. I think that's pretty nice, man. I think that's pretty nice. But at this point, people, I feel perfectly fine with the backing out, talking on it, and vaping on it. All right, people. We took an up close and personal look at this Pulse V2. We checked it out. We looked at all the things. Now, the real question is, twisted, how does it vape? And vape fine. It's basically fine. As far as the mod, 95 watts, hey, it's doing all the stuff. Now, as far as the squawker, it's been working pretty well, man. It's been working pretty well. As far as that no leak mumbo jumbo they talk about, seems to be working. Now, I dig it. But regardless of that, let's go ahead and break down some pros and cons, okay? Can we discuss this as gentlemen? You know what I mean? I like it. I like some stuff going on here. The panels, the resin panels, nice soft touch. Pop each one off, get your battery out. Still dig that. Digging the 21700, 2700, or 18650 action. It's very versatile, kind of modular in that way. Okay? Something I didn't get video of, but I like on the trap door. I kind of like it and dislike it, really. On the trap door that you use to unscrew the bottom to fill up the squonk tube, it's got a little magnet on the flap that helps it go right back there and stay in place. You don't have to worry about pushing it back up when you're done. Only thing is... It, it's a little finicky and sometimes it wants to fly back down and the magnet sucks it back down It's just a little it's just a little something. It's kind of a con I like it because of the magnet putting it back in place, but also I dislike it because it's a little finicky. You see what I'm saying? Um, digging the waterproof action pretty cool pretty cool dig the waterproof stuff chunk of squonker on here You're good to go uh, Dig the USB-C very happy to see that very cool very very cool and the screen is nice and, and colorful and bright I like it as well and I really love that menu option to go uncheck different things you don't want to use and do want to use very nice touch very very nice touch but yeah the squonking part of this is probably one of the better squonkers I've had the pleasure of using because uh, it's so simple turn it upside down and screw it fill it up with juice screw it back in I like that that's a great idea and I like the fact that it's lined up perfectly with the 510 Leak proof so far, so good. I don't see anything in there. I've been vaping it for a little while. It looks pretty safe. It looks pretty safe. Yeah, I dig a lot of the stuff that they got going on here. Everything is pretty, pretty damn good. Um, now, damn it, I forgot to do the the whole app shit. I did it on the S well, and, and this is, before I read, it looked like the same thing. So here's a clip. It kind of shows you what's going on as far as the over the air updates and uh, find my mod feature. I got the Vandy Vape app open. Uh, this is an Android app. 
I got the APK. It'll be available on their website when it's out. But it's nice. It's nice. I signed in. I got everything set up. I'm going to go over to my vet. Bam. Now we're live. It's got my ID. Everything's good. We can go to control. We can go over here, change our wattage. We can set all kinds of stuff. You want to set the flavor. We do temperature. Anti-loss time, 15 seconds. You can adjust it, set it to whatever you want. And we can modify the device name. But let's just go ahead and... Pretty cool. Yeah, I should I should have done it this time, but fuck, I figured the same shit. Might as well. UI is probably a little better, but same thing. You press thing on your phone, your your mind starts beeping, then you, then you find it, and then you vape it. Everyone's happy. See what I'm saying? So it's pretty cool. Overall, I gotta say the Pulse V2 is pretty similar to the V1, but with some noticeable innovative changes that I think make this a worthy purchase. Um, if you have a Pulse One, I, I wouldn't mind double dipping for some of these new features. I can dig it. Good battery life. Good vape. Can't complain, man. What can you complain about at that point? You can't. You can't. And the price isn't too bad. Under 60 bucks for what you're getting. Only thing would have made it a little bit cooler is if they included the RDA again. Like, you know, chuck a little RDA. Well, here. Fucking. Yeah. Got some. But I figured they probably figured everybody's already got a squawk RDA that they like by now anyway. But anyway, that's what I got for you here today, people. Just some good old fun with the Pulse V2. Shout out to Tony B and Vandy Bait. You made a good thing here. All right. And thank you guys for watching. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are excellent. Don't forget, I stream on Twitch daily. Link in the description. Come hang out, play some video games, all that good stuff. Also, people, remember, doesn't matter what the fuck you're vaping on, as long as you're not on them gosh darn stinkies. That's what's important. That's what's truly important. And last but not least, <laughs> you stay sexy, YouTube, from bubbles and twist it. <laughs>